What up everybody? It's your girl July from Youth on Record and today I'm gonna show y'all how I arranged the beat for the Polo G type beat that we made last time. Let's get straight into it. What I'm gonna do now is arrange the beat. So we have all the sounds we need. We're gonna make the intro, the hook, the catchy part of the song, and we're gonna make the verse. So I'm gonna duplicate this part six times. And you could do more depending on how long you want your sections to be, but I'll show you how it's going to work. Let's name this first. Cool. We're going to drag to select all of them. And we're going to hold down Option or Alt to copy it over. Do it one more time. And one more time. Cool. So now we got it six times. First thing we're going to do is make our intro. Now, if you listen to a song, it usually has just the, the instruments playing first. I'm gonna drag the flute up so the instruments are at the top and the drums and bass are at the bottom. So let's get rid of the drums and bass in the intro and maybe even some of the instruments so we kind of start off basic. Turn it down the music box. And I think that's an awesome intro. So now what I want to do is figure out how we're going to format the, the hook, which is the next section I want to do. So let's bring everything in except for maybe, say, the, the guitar. And let's see what that sounds like. And let's turn off the loop section. This little area here, if it's highlighted, if it's dark, it'll play this area over and over again. So let's turn it off so we can play the next section. Cool, so this next section, these three quadrants right here, which is 12 bars, this was eight bars, because remember, each one of these sections is four bars. We're going to get rid of some of these instruments for the verse section. So I'm gonna delete the guitar, delete the flute, and let's just start with the piano, since that's the one that we didn't pan. It's straight up the middle, remember? So we're gonna start with that one. Just to be, you know, simple when the verse starts. Bare bones. I'm gonna turn down the kick and snare and the bass a bit. Cool, and then for this next section of the verse, let's get rid of these two and we'll add the Celesta and the music box in. And that, I imagine that'll sound dope. So this next part, let's get rid of all of these sounds at the top. And maybe even the flute and the guitar. And let's see what, what it sounds like with just the drums and the bass. So I think it sounds dope, but it needs a little something something. So let's take this piano right here. We're gonna take the notes and drag them down using Option Alt to this area, but we're gonna drag it down to the guitar. And let's edit these notes so that, kind of like this part, how we did uh, every other section gets played, let's actually do the opposite. So for to explain that deeper, in this guitar area right here, we started with every other quadrant, starting with the second, so we did two, skip three, we did four, skip five, we did six. So let's do that, but let's do the opposite. So we'll start with one. Whoops. Cool, so we'll do one, three, five, seven. And let's see what it sounds like with seven, actually. It might sound cool. 
to keep the ending of it leading up into the hook again. And then we will come back to this section. So let's use our loop tool, drag it back over. Turn it down. Let's actually move this up to the piano, see what it sounds like. Cool, and that sounds dope. The last thing I would add is a transition sound, and transition sounds help notify your artist your rapper or singer when the next section is starting or when to start rapping so let's see what these sound like it sounds like it's more for edm this could work another way to search that is to search transition or you can look under s effects so let's put this in between yep the intro and the hook and then we'll also drag it over in between the hook and the verse. And then we'll drag it here between the verse and the next hook. Cool. Now most songs these days are typically between two to three minutes long. So we're gonna take our hook and our verse, not our intro, and we're gonna duplicate them, hold the option, Put it there. We have this extra part here from copying it over, so let's shorten it. Delete that. And let's duplicate it. Let's just take the hook section now and duplicate it so we can get one last hook at the end of the song. All right, cool. So I noticed that it kind of sounds weird and it's not coming in right necessarily. So what I'm going to do is stretch the region. So if I hold down Option or Alt and come down here to the bottom right corner, then I can stretch it. Let it load. And let's see what it sounds like. And that sounds better. So... Now I'm going to copy that over to the section in between the hook and the verse. Zoom in some more so we can get it in the right square. It looks like we're four squares in right here. One, two, three, four. There we go. Play it. So now our song is about 3 minutes and 39 seconds, but we don't want to have another verse at the end. So instead of having another verse at the end, I'll delete these. Zoom in. And let's go ahead and duplicate the flute and the guitar. Option, drag. Awesome. So now we got an intro, our first hook, first verse, second hook, second verse. We end with the hook, we'll close with the outro. All right, so that is how you make a beat, polo G type beat in Soundtrap. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comment section below. You let us know what you would like to see next. It's all culture, kick back, and cook up.